Facebook removes 7 million posts for sharing false information on coronavirus. Here's a summary of the article. Facebook Inc. said on Tuesday it removed 7 million posts in the second quarter for sharing false information about the novel coronavirus, including content that promoted fake preventative measures and exaggerated cures. Facebook released the data as part of its sixth Community Standards Enforcement Report, which it introduced in 2018 along with more stringent decorum rules in response to a backlash over its lax approach to policing content on its platforms. The world's biggest social media company removed about 22.5 million posts containing hate speech on its flagship app in the second quarter, up from 9.6 million in the first quarter. It also deleted 8.7 million posts connected to extremist organizations, compared with 6.3 million in the prior period. Facebook said it relied more heavily on automation technology for reviewing content during the months of April, May and June as it had fewer reviewers at its offices due to the COVID-19 pandemic. That resulted in company taking action on fewer pieces of content related to suicide and self injury, child nudity, and sexual exploitation on its platforms, Facebook said in a blog post. The company said it was expanding its hate speech policy to include content depicting blackface, or stereotypes about Jewish people controlling the world. This post received a score of 21,000, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. So was there any posts left after the purge? Sadly, this probably barely scratches the surface of what's out there. I've done my part in reporting just about every post of some of my ultra-conservative friends. I stopped debating them as it's like banging your head against a wall. They are older and seemingly only get their news from memes or alt-right websites. It's funny as hell when they keep complaining that Facebook is, censoring, conservatives. Same, just can't keep up anymore. It's overwhelming. The newest one, survivability rate, where the denominator is the total population, not the actual patient population. I don't have a solid rebuttal for that one, besides the obvious bad faith argument argument. Wait, is that the number of people who recover from COVID-19 divided by the total population? That's an absurd metric, as shown by the simple fact that a country with no cases would have a survivability rate of zero. Not even recovered. People who didn't die from COVID, population, so for Wisconsin, they'll say 5,799,000-5,800,000 for a survivability rate of 99.98%. It's beyond absurd. One logical flaw you can point out is that this argument presupposes that recovery is binary, i.e. recovered versus dead. The recovered group thus includes everyone from the guy that was never infected right down to the guy that had to be put into a coma for four months with a hose down his throat. Now, whether or not it's worth your time to even bother trying to engage these people in a good faith argument is another problem entirely. You gave a two-sentence response that requires logic. Not gonna work. This, you gotta fight dumb with something dumber, so even a dumb person will recognize the logical fallacy. It's basically the movie Idiocracy IRL. Hi, um, excuse me, I'm actually supposed to get out of prison today, sir. They still haven't taken down my post about Mars being as big as the moon, s. Stop your anti-moon propaganda. We Moonanites are a proud people and we won't be shamed by the likes of you. I'm flipping you the bird. Okay, just for some context, Facebook has an estimated approximately 100 million fake user accounts. Every month, about 20 billion messages are posted between users. That's 5 billion per weeks. Billion. Nobody gives a shit about the 7 million that some PR intern dug up when he reviewed some bot statistics as a great message to hype the tanking Facebook popularity. That's really not a good measure of influence though. A post shared 10 million times by an organized group will have a lot more influence than a post from Joe in Wisconsin who has 10 followers. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.